Hey, we're trying something new. A podcast called Thanks for Being a Part of the Conversation. A part of the conversation that you don't get to fall witness to is my love for this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. In the 1990s, I was the poet in the forest. It was a children's series that I pinned out. None of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest where I presently stand right here in Charlotte. I talk about it and write about it so much that I thought it was time that you get to be a part of what has been inspiring me since 1992. Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. 23 feet above this beautiful forest, the deck. I can see and I can hear so much, and I've written so much while being on the deck. I'm standing within the elephant ears right now, and I've got flowers. Of course, I've been all over the web searching to find out, do elephant ears flower, or is this just somebody invading the space inside this pot? And they show the flowers. But to be 23 feet above this forest floor, overlooking the trees, the long, tall grass, with the glow of the sun, you can see the spider's web. And I love spiders. I do. And the reason why is because in Native American spirituality, spiders actually, they build their webs upward to the great creator. And it's a very positive message. And if you truly look beyond your fear of spiders, you'll realize how many insects are taken away because the spider is just trying to help keep the forest clear. But this flower on an elephant ear is just amazing. And these leaves, yeah, they soak up a lot of sun, but they provide a lot of shade for the many, many, many different plants that are on the deck, 23 feet above. And now as I walk around, It looks like there's a little woolly worm. Isn't it a little bit too early for the woolly worms to be out? This one's kind of fuzzy. It makes me wonder what winter's going to be like because on this day, this particular August day, it's like 68 degrees. 23 feet above this forest floor, it feels like fall is starting to arrive. If you could see the lay of the land, you would see the long, tall grass, but you'd also see how the water has raced down the hill. And we've talked about that 95-foot drop but we've not been on the right side of the house, a different kind of walk down the hill. But from 23 feet above, I can see the bigger stream. All the plants that are up here, they watch on the cruelest of rainy days in the South as that stream swells. I've had the professionals come. I've had them look at the stream. I'm going, I think it's going to flood one day and it's going to wipe out everything. But the professionals have sat down with me and said, no, Nature is taking care of itself, and it has nothing to do with reaching over the banks that it has created. I don't pick up the fallen trees because I believe the fallen trees are food for the earth. It's food for other insects. Although it may look ugly to those that have Home Depot and Lowe's style lawns, being 23 feet above the ground, it's a forest. It's not man-made. It's nature-made. The gum trees, oh my God, they must be 50 feet tall. So many people have said, you've got to get rid of the gum trees. They're very bad trees. They steal from the nutrients. And yet at one point in time in history, if you go back and read about the gum tree, the people in the Orient would actually take the gum from these trees and chew on it before we had the gum that we have today. I love my gum trees. They're very tall. 23 feet above the forest floor. Thank you so much for being a part of the conversation.